uh, NXT Battleground is this upcoming weekend. It is uh, the first time that the WWE and the UFC are going to be partnering on an event at the UFC Apex in Vegas. Sexy Red will be hosting the event uh, for WWE next as uh, old girl law. It is what it is uh, when they covered her appearance. So. But yeah, NXT Battleground uh, in Vegas. Sexy Red is the host. We've got predictions here. Want to get you guys' thoughts. If you're in the chat, please feel free to chime in. Also, if you ain't hit that like button yet, I don't know what you're doing. You've been here long enough, man. Go ahead and smash that. Hit that subscribe. You feel me? Come check us out next week. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you stay tapped in, stay tuned in, stay dangerous. Now, with that said, let's get into these matches. Six matches on the card. Six matches on the card. Six matches on the card. Like and we're going to start with the North American Championship three-way Oba Femi versus, uh, what is this, Joe Coffee, Mark Coffee, Joe Coffee, um, and uh, Wes Lee. Joe Coffee. I thought it was one of them gallus niggas. What we got? Who, who, who y'all going with, man? Yes. Who y'all going with, man? Jizzle, you you kick it off for us, brother. All right, you got 66 and two-thirds percent chance of a nigga winning, so I'm picking the uh, the biggest nigga in the, <laughs> in, in the match. I'm picking Obi, you know mm. what I'm saying, by uh, by murder death on um, on the white man. I like on that. On the white man. <laughs> it's crazy. I like that. I like that. I am also going Oba Femi uh, by pinfall. I don't care who he pins. Um yeah, yeah. overfit me by pinfall. Lo, please feel free to uh, let us know how you think that match, uh, the matches for the predictions are going to end via pinfall or a uh, submission or some other, you know, DQ, yeah. whatever. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I think that Wes, Wes takes the pin here in this match from Oba, who retains. Uh, love Joe. But I believe that this... Uh, Thing with Oba got to be rolled out a bit more. I think that Joe stays a bit protected. And Wesley kind of coming into the picture in this juncture. I think he's the one that takes the pen. Mm. Welcome back, nigga. Eat the pen. <laughs> right. <laughs> ben, you got? Yo, I got Oba. Wait, how you going over here, here yeah. Go ahead, Ben. Sorry. I got Oba Femi by pen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, man. Uh, we just talked about AJ Styles and what he's got going on with Cody Rose, but over here at NXT, uh, the Good Brothers, Gallows, and who Jizzle? Uh, fucking machine gun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> machine Taking on uh, Axiom and Nathan Frazier for the NXT tag team titles. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this one off. I think due to what's going on with AJ and what's going on with NXT overall right now, salute to Axiom and Nathan Frazier. Um, I, I'm i going with the Good Brothers, man. Pinfall, man. That's that's mm -hmm. what we're doing. They take the NXT tag titles, my opinion. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. like, uh, yeah, hard. I got, I got to say the same because – yeah, you got you can't like yo, y'all can have some belts, but y'all just can't have these belts because we doing something with these ones on SmackDown. We don't want y'all to get in the way, but yeah, y'all could mm -hmm. y'all could definitely have these shits. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get them on Fox. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm with that. Uh low who you got. Yeah, absolutely. The bros, the good bros by Penfall. After seeing the match against uh, Malik and Idris, just looked like some momentum was building. You dig what I'm saying? Something about the way Book said that Magic City baby at the end of the match. <laughs> <laughs> and Book was having a great time. Magic City must have been on his mind, right? But um, <laughs> and 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 uh, and this past Tuesday. But um, yeah, I, th I think that um, yeah, definitely Good Brothers pinfall, new NXT title champ, new NXT uh, champions. Man, listen, Nathan Axiom, I believe in you. Just not today. I'm picking um, I'm picking, I'm picking machine gun in them, and then the machine gun Festus. You know what I'm saying? MGF, and then um, yeah, I'm picking them, and I'm picking them by um, two magic killers. And it's probably going to be on Axiom because we can't have no white on white crime on on USA. You know what I'm saying? Only on um, only for the SVU. So um, I'm picking yeah. them. I'm with that. I hate Let's it when I'm watching uh, SVU and a nigga does it. I'm like, yo, man, you making this. It always be the nigga in the first seven minutes, too. Like, yo, it, I knew it was him. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, cool. So we got those two matches in the tuck. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Well, let's go into NXT Underground. We got Lola Vice 
facing off against Shayna Baszler. Both of these women are cage fighters. Uh, so they do have that MMA background and Lola Vice with her kickboxing as well. Uh, what, what are we thinking, man? What are we thinking here? NXT Underground, Shayna Baszler, Lola Vice, who y'all got? Ben. It's Lola Vice. Lola Vice by Penn. It, it's got to be. It's like, bro, it's, you, got, you got too much riding on her. I like that. With the bill, Booker T already throwing out right, hypothetical right. ideas that we're not sh- that we shouldn't be talking about, but yeah, you got that. All right, cool. Uh, Lo, who you got in this one? I like yeah. Lola, man. I feel like there's a few things going on right now with some politics going on with Shayna and 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 uh, it's slipping me right now. So, so we start, you know what I mean? Seeing them out in Philly, yeah, I mean. Then we, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't like, they don't like women popping ass. They don't like seeing no ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they need to be, they, I mean, they need to be, you know, taught a little something. Yeah, you know I mean, so I think that Shayna takes this pin. I feel like a certain side of the NXT women's locker room, um, a certain side of that locker room has the momentum. For they sure. have the attention and and they have the nation. If that makes sense. Um, Thank shout you. out sexy red, but. I think in this particular match, yeah, we gotta, you know, we gonna, we gonna, uh, we gonna, we gonna get, we gonna give Lola some shine at the at the battleground apex. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, Shayna takes the pen to Lola. Yeah, my uh, my bad. Ken says uh, NXT Underground rules knockout or submission. I I take it uh, knockout. Lola I see Shayna. I don't see um, Shayna submitting. Lola by sub is good too, though. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I I agree. Um, but also with Lola, Smash, yeah. Lola by, by knockout. Yeah, I don't I don't see Shayna Shayna tapping. Maybe she passes out. Maybe she passes out. But I don't I don't see her tapping. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that. Thanks, Ken. That was that was a good move. We appreciate it. Yeah, shout out to Ken, man. Big you know, I see Lola, Lola stood next to Sexy Red. I see two bad bitches. All right. <laughs> Real so, shit. I am picking right. Lola, <laughs> Lola by submission. I think I think and I think Lola's gonna beat her with the with the with the with with the um with the care through the clutch. I think she's gonna beat her with her own move too. I think you gotta send a message if you want to build up low Lola Vice as, as much as you say that you want to build her up. I think you gotta you gotta get it like a decisive win like that. Mm. And I think that would be the perfect way. So I got Lola by submission as well. And like yo, Lola's right. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, there is a different side. You know what I'm saying? On in the NXT backside. You know what I'm saying? And that's the side that I'm going with. Right. So, yeah. I like that. Well, let's let's uh I'm a I'm a uh yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, okay. Everybody made their pick for that. Let's stay on the let's stay on the back side of NXT. Let's stay on that. And I'm I'm not gonna sexualize these women in this match, but however, there's 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 six of them and there's five black women in this match. So salute to NXT, salute to to, to Chef Michaels, let him cook. Yeah, he says 133 and one third percent yes, chance man. that we go yapping. Right. <laughs> the, the introduction of the North American Women's Championship will be on the line here in a ladder match, six pack challenge. Uh, Micha and Mia Yim, of course, uh, Lash Legend, Kalani Jordan, Jada Parker, Sol Ruka, and Fallon Henley. Mm-hmm. Man. This I, I do think this has the potential to be a really good match, and also these women can you know showcase that they 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 really got something. You got Misha in here. You got uh, Fallon Henley, who's more than serviceable in the ring. Uh, Kalani Jordan's been doing great, and Sol Ruka is extremely exciting. Lash Legend for the power, and I think Jada Parker is a great wild card. What do you, what do you guys think happens here? Who do you guys think takes the win? Uh, just like play. All right, uh, uh, man, like is, I feel like this is something that that I'm, I'm picking Kalani. Like, I think that I think that I think it's something like if you're gonna start out something like that, like I think she just has all the tools and like just the smile and the moves and it's like you don't expect her to win. And because I think they're just gonna use So Ruka like they use uh, Sheldon Benjamin in these ladder matches, She's like yo, go do all these cool ass moves and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. You know what I mean? So like, and uh, and uh, and yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think Kalani gonna get that shit. Come on, Kalani, don't let me down. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to go with Lash Legend. She's already doing a lot right now, alongside Trick Williams and her group that she's in. So I feel like that belt 
going into that storyline. We get all eyes on it and everything like that. So I feel like Lash Legend and she, I think she has the most star power out of like, no, Jada Parker. I feel like J- is between her and Jada Parker for me, they're the biggest names that could probably lift this title up as a first reign. Mm-hmm. So, but I feel like Jada Parker still has a ways to go. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like she's, she has the star power and star quality that you want. But I feel mm-hmm. like she needs she has a little bit more brushing up in the ring to do. But like she's definitely gonna be a problem when she gets all the pieces together. But yeah, lash. What you on that? Uh low. What you thinking? Yeah, man. This is some good this is this is some stuff to really like sit with for a while and have to uh chew on. No pun intended. <laughs> However, these six women in this match, we're in a particular moment right now where I feel like with this North American title being introduced, with the spot that this North American title could have on each NXT, you know, PLE associated show or like the battlegrounds or whatever is going to stand alone. These six women can become very synonymous with this title. The same way the folks that were fighting for the North American title, like those takeovers became synonymous with that run. Right. Um, For me, I'm thinking Lash, but I like Fallon. Mm. I really appreciate what Soul Ruka is doing. I love Jada. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I love Keelani. Love me, Chin. Go, go way back. But, and definitely Lash is doing all of the above right now. Mm. But I think that they're going to, and I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that title going into that scene would be awesome. You dig what I'm saying? And kind of seeing those titles next to each other in, on the same square. You dig what I'm saying? With two black folks. Right. I would be all for that. You dig what I'm saying? But I just feel like the lineage of where NXT women title holders have been in the last, I, th- I just think I like filing. Now, I, put it on one of the black women, please. Please put it on Lash. But that's just what I'm thinking. Because you know how you got, like, the person who you like, but the person that, like, you know who they're probably going to go with. But, um, I, yeah, I see this North American title, in the, you know what I mean, in this women's division really, I, you know, remember Sean and Razor with the Intercontinental title? Yes. It was like two of them, and then, then they did it again at SummerSlam and all of like that. I really feel like, like that's the lineage that the NXT North American title comes out of with those ladder matches. But now we get like a full fledged booking Sean and who, who was actually fucking there as one of the other people like in that. So I think that with these six women, you know, what I mean, if they're chasing, so be it. Um, but I, I love Lash, but I'm thinking Fallon, but love what Soul Kalani and what everybody is doing. Jada, oh my gosh, you know, what I mean, me Chin classic. Yeah, you know I mean, and you know, so I, you know, that's that's just how I feel. But this is go- this is match of the night for me. This is going to be the match that I'm paying most attention to because of its standing in NXT as a brand and where's hopefully that title takes the brand. Okay, um, I'm with y'all. Fallon being the dark horse of the white girl is hilarious. But it um, is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got Graham. She's the fentanyl in this match. Um, I, I am going. Um, Listen, listen. I, I think, I think, uh, I think Lowe makes a good point as far as there's the person that you that you like that you really think could make a good champion, and then there's the person that that they'll likely go with. Um, for me, uh, in this instance, Sol Ruka is the one that I like, um, but I just don't know if she's ready yet. Just like as far as like Jada Parker could use a little bit more seasoning in the ring, but I feel like Sol Ruka after that knee injury, I feel like they may want to see a little bit more out of her just before they put that title on her. That's why I'm gonna go Lash. Uh, not only because uh Metaphor has been a dope stable. Uh Noam Dar was scheduled to get this this title match in this program with Trick Williams. He's out right now. I think with with her and what she's been able to do, bouncing off of Trick, uh, her being a heel, but also kind of being a little bit of a tweener in a sense, uh, works. And I think she would be a great uh, powerhouse champion, along with the other powerhouse, Oba Femi. Uh, but I think something uh, with Lash as the first North American women's champion would work. I'm interested in seeing that. So that's my thing. Lash. You think you read help somebody win? Oh man. Uh, if she helps anybody win, I think it'll be I think there'll be some involvement. Well, no ass, you're in, right. I yeah, I think there'll be some involvement with with either this match or maybe the NXT title match. Uh yeah. 
does. Which we'll get into right now. Uh, Trick Williams uh, defending against the debuting Ethan Page, who just signed his NXT contract, of course, and got this match. Uh, who you guys got, man? Trick Williams, Ethan Page, NXT title. Mm-hmm. We're not going to pretend like I care about Ethan Page. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Man, I just gang. Like- yeah, we're going gang on this one. Bet on black. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's tricked by Penn. But, yo, don't, don't, not too much on Ethan Page. I didn't know he was this nice on the mic. I, I didn't know that. You got, y'all had Dan Lambert talking for him, and he had a manager at the time. He was in AEW. I, I didn't know he was like that. So I'm enjoying, you know, him him doing his little signing and everything like that, you know, getting his <laughs> talk, talk his little shit and everything like that. I'm cool with it, but yeah, it's, it's got to be Trick Williams. Like, got to talk before you. You have it. Trick by pinfall. Right? Absolutely, yeah, trick, definitely trick by pinfall. Mm-hmm. Everybody, pinfall trick. Yep. 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 I'm with that. All right, cool. Tony in the chat says, "All oh, ego wrestling wins by DQ." <laughs> I, you know, I could see that too. That's very interesting. Does Jordan yeah. Grace come and um, beat up uh, Trick? Maybe metaphor. Comes <laughs> in, I'm sure. uh, I think uh, I think metaphor comes in because metaphor might end up coming in because like yo he got attacked at the end of NXT. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think right. Jordan Grace comes in there and throws Jonathan Gresham at that nigga. That's hilarious. <laughs> as a as a foreign object. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Body cube. Uh, look, before we get into the main event, we're going to use this as a segue here. David Alexander says, "My hot take is uh, Trick and Ethan's match gets interrupted by another TNA star, one that Ethan is pretty familiar with by the name of Josh Alexander. Oh, I think looks- that would be interesting. Uh, now, in regards to that, however, we've got this budding partnership between TNA." NXT, WWE, whatever is going on here. There were a few people that were let go of TNA's front office recently. Uh, A few of them were planned. Uh, One, I believe, was uh, not planned. However, the uh, match that I'm most intrigued by this upcoming weekend at Battleground for NXT is the NXT Women's Championship match where Roxanne Perez will be defending against the TNA Knockouts women's uh excuse me the tna knockouts champion not knockout women's excuse me use your words my brother is pride salute to everybody pride it's pride month you feel me this ain't got nothing to do with this match but salute to everybody you feel me it's, it's gang you feel me uh but yes the nxt women's title is on the line roxanne perez versus the tna knockouts champion jordan grace um not only this title but the the whole ordeal of the tna and wwe partnership what are you guys thinking about this and uh give me your picks as well um ben i'll let you kick us off and then uh lo you take us uh where you want to go yeah so i i gotta go roxanne perez by pinfall because like Mm -hmm. i don't think they let the title change hands but side note on this whole like uh tna situation for jordan grace i think it's time that she and she goes and she she takes back her apology for what she said about Chris Benoit. I think she need to start like shitting on niggas. Just be like, yo, man, I'm rubbing shoulders with the Fed. Fuck that nigga. Chris Jericho, you wanted me to apologize? Chavo Guerrero, you wanted me to apologize? I'm rubbing shoulders with the Fed. Fuck y'all. I piss on that nigga grave. Like, I think that's what she need to say. And don't acknowledge it anymore. Just just say that next promo that you have on uh, NXT. But yeah, definitely Jordan Grace. Uh, just getting her a little, you know. Getting her shine, I'm loving it. I'm loving the whole uh crossover, the NXT TNA, the uh yeah, the NXT NA jacket, all that shit was cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can't wait until they they solidify this with a world's collide pay per view like I've been asking for for two years. For two years. For two bang, years. Bang, bang, yeah. bang, 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 bang. Lo, what you got for us, man? Jordan Grace, Roxanne, NXT, NA. I think, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. I don't see either one of these women losing their titles. I think that this probably ends in some type of schmaz where we get other women potentially from TNA involved. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I That's a very wild card prediction. I'm sure that some folks that are hearing tonight didn't expect to, but I really like the promo between them. I feel like Roxy's moment isn't over yet. Mm-hmm. Um, granted, Jordan is very synonymous with the TNA Knockouts title, has been for a while. 
Um, I think the perfect example of a TNA knockouts champion, everything that a TNA knockout champion is supposed to be, Jordan Grace is. Right now, Roxanne Perez is the perfect example of an NXT women's champion. But I see the women's division, especially with this collab going on right now, with this, you know, with this collab line between CNA and NXT, we gotta we gotta see some more folks involved. Um, so I, I mean that's that's something I would probably like to see, some type of weird out of pocket like semi invasion because i know we're kind of you know the invasion angle might not be the best thing to do right now to probably put on television <laughs> going on the world. Yeah. um but I, w- I would like to see something less something like that so like some type of like nxt like knockout nexus something. i don't know i don't know you, you, remember, you remember the nexus shit and everything like that <laughs> i like that shit nigga. you know what i mean I- <laughs> cool let's get let's get some you know i mean let's get some more of these tna folks some plates on on this show on saturday you know Let's let's really thank WWE for the house. Let's yeah. let's let's see what we could do at the you know especially in somewhere like the you know UFC uh, Apex. So yeah, I don't know, but if I if I do have to call it, I say that um, definitely Roxanne Perez goes over. Um, she's the one that goes over in this match based on who the obvious juggernaut is when it comes to this collaboration. Mm. Um, and it's a pin that Jordan can definitely take and I think would to Roxanne Perez. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, if I got to call it, that's what I would call it. But I would like to see something a bit more schmozzy, if that makes sense. <laughs> schmozzy. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm going to I'm gonna go for the wild card pick, man. I'm going to go ahead and, and step out on a limb. I'm going to say Jordan Grace wins this match. I'm going to say she takes the, the NXT women's title and walks into Against All Odds next weekend. Where she has uh, she has announced that she's doing an open challenge for the knockouts title. So that leaves opportunity for somebody from WWE, from NXT to come over and return the favor, maybe take that title. I don't know. I don't know. But um, if there's more to this partnership, I would like to see Jordan Grace pick up the win here. So I'm going to go Jordan Grace, Juggernaut Driver, Roxy. Uh, All right, baby. I like that shooter. Yeah. Come on, Rosemary. I need Rosemary to come up over here and start kicking niggas in the face. You know what I'm saying? I love the idea of a little uh, of a little TNA Nexus going oh, on. You know Slam a vision or something like that. Yeah, you know, the little bring back OBD. You know what I'm saying? Bring back classics. You feel me? Like, why not? Fuck it. Like, uh, yeah, I'm I'm picking Roxanne, dog. She's she's perfect. And uh, and uh. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just something. I, I, I like the chat. I like the chats. Uh, I like the chats. Uh, you feel me? Going in on this one right here. Ken says, "Let's get Tasha Steels on NXT so Graham can build her a cyber truck." Uh, <laughs> Graham uh, build her a cyber truck helicopter, nigga. Jay Champ says, "Knockouts versus NXT Women's Division." Lord, if I get a, a Tasha Steels and Jada Parker interaction, yeah, man. <clears throat> That's fire. Uh, Tony <laughs> says, uh, perfect prediction, Graham. Jordan Grace versus Tatum Paxley on a TNA PLE. I hope it's not Tatum. I need somebody. Yeah, more, it's definitely Tatum, um, though. A little bit more gravitas with a little bit more star power with a little bit more. Like, she can be the second to come over. You feel me? But I don't know if she could be the first. You feel me? Mm, yeah. Yo, Jordan Grace is a sexy red, hard to kill. Book it. Really? Yeah, run it up, man. Uh, that's next January. But uh, listen, listen, build it up, build it up, make it.